Hey folks, Dave back here, and we have uh, some hockey blast on the table today. Taking a little break from the uh, Apple football, just a little break though. You know, I'm going to be back to that at some point there. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to get back and play some hockey here on the channel. Um, we're supposed to be recording a new show tonight, uh, Chuck it and I, so I figured I'd get on here and get some hockey out of the way here. I got a little Jones of some old time hockey here. So I got the nice new cards here from play. All right, so this is going to be basically um, uh, 81, 82. Let me get my keyboard out of the way. And uh, there we go. In all its glory, we have um, the North Stars at the Blackhawks. This is kind of a quasi-playoff game, if you will. Uh, it's one of the games that Malosh and Esposito squared off in in 81, 82. And uh, so that's kind of where we are right now. And uh, I'm hoping I remember how to play this. I'm hoping I have everything here. It's been a while since I played Hockey Blast, so uh, this is not a tutorial today, folks. This is this is Dave trying to not make mistakes, if I can, and play this game and have just have some fun here this afternoon. So I am going to use my cards here to mix things up for the lines like I like to do, and uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, see if I remember how to play this. It's been quite some time, but I remember the last time I played it, I had a lot of fun. All right, so here we go now. Um, let's just roll the dice for the face-off. I think that's what we do. All right, so in the first period, the first minute of play here, we have a five. Visitor wins a face-off and gets an immediate play. So the North Stars get it. And I always start with um, momentum for the first couple of shifts for the home team until something happens to change the momentum. So that's kind of what I do, and a lot of people like to do that too. All right, so we're going to get a uh, immediate play here. So let's go on the play chart. And so on my play chart, that's going to be a four. So that's going to be, um, oh, do you know what I need here? Oh, I knew I needed something else here. I need to mark off. I need to mark my shooters here. So here we go. Oh, and how about that? That'll work very nice. I knew I was going to miss something here. All righty. <laughs> All right, so our first shot is going to be one, three, and four. So one, I think the last one is the shooter, correctly? I always mess this up. One, three, and four. So one to three to four. Is kind of, I think that's how it goes. I think that's how it goes. That's how I'm going to play it today. The third guy is the shooter. Uh, so we have a one assist, two, three. That's cut in half, so it'll be a one. So Roberts has a one shooting on Esposito, who's a two and a half, but he's a three. So I got one shooting on three. And that's going to be a save by Esposito. So our first shot of the game is a save by Tony O. And on the save shot, it's stand with a glove hand. And we're going to advance the clock, so it's going to put save... Chicago, and we advance the time, and we change line. So the puck possession here now goes to Chicago. Line two will come out on the defense. Line two will come out over here. And how about these guys? Well, they'll send out line two, and they will uh, oh, line two as well. So we got the line twos for everybody here. All right, so Chicago with the puck now. One minute gone by in the period. And I have a seven. That's going to be, that'll be a lull. And so we got lull. So a one, two, and three. So there's our lull. And now we'll change line. So we'll, they're going right down the line here. Line one, two, and three. Line one will come out here. And again, this is not how you play the game. You are really supposed to, you know, play a little bit different with the lines. But I like to mix up my lines because I don't want one going against one all the time in the whole bit. So... These cards here just kind of give me a little bit of variety, if you will. All righty, so now we got a face-off here. So the mo momentum is lost. As, as far as I'm concerned, the momentum is lost at this point here. Uh, momentum is lost on a lull. Yep, so yep. So that is gone. All right, so we got lines one going up against three, and then three going up against one. All right, here we go. So we got a face-off. And I have a seven. Face off one followed by another low. Wow. So here we are now. Moving right along. We've already played uh, seven minutes of this game. 
Line one will stay out here after the low. Line four coming out for Chicago right now, along with line three. So they're playing the goons right now. The goons are out. All right, so nobody has possession of the puck. And, and 11, waved off new face-off with new players. All right, so we're going to bring in some other guys here. A nine, home wins the face-off and gets an immediate play. All right, so the Blackhawks with a chance now. And another four. That's a one, three, and a four. So we got um, Patterson, Teruskowski, and Murray. And it's going to be absolutely zero stars on the shot. I don't even have to add them up. And I don't even know if there's a chance anybody could score except on a rebound on this line. <laughs> That's how bad they are with, with stars and whatever. So a shot and a save by Malo. Stick save, drops it behind the net. And new lines come out. So that'll be a... A save by Minnesota as Malosh makes the save. And we'll continue on. Fast-paced game here in Chicago. So line one defense will stay out. Minnesota sends out line three. Line one will come out for Chicago. And on the defense, line two. And that's where we stand right now. Okay. So we're continuing on here. We played about eight minutes now. No score. And we have a seven right there. That's going to be another lull. Wow. So a lot of nothing going on here. Exciting game. Get to watch me change my lines. Right? I guess that's something. All righty. So let's drop the face off again. Eight. Home wins the faceoff. All right, so the puck goes to the Blackhawks. Now we get to finally roll off the chart. And another seven. Look at all the lulls. I mean, the whole period's been lulls. I've had two saves and a lull. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. It'll be a quick game. We might be done in five minutes, and I can go have second lunch. All right, so we got one and two over here, and then two and two over here. All right, face off. Quick moving first period now, 15 minutes gone, and a six. Visitor wins the face off, so it's going to be Minnesota puck. Eight this time. We're going to have ice blast, wide angle view, and I probably should get a third die. A red one here. And we'll see what the... um. It's going to be, so we're going to roll a die, so it's a five. So a five is going to be smart. So an ice blast, we're looking at everybody on the ice for the smart quality. So we have one, two, three over here. One, two. So Minnesota gets it, and because they have a puck, they have the puck, that'll be a shot on net. All right, so they're going to get a play. I'm pretty sure, right? A play occurs. And a 10 is going to be 4, 1, and 2. So we're going to get 4, 1, and 2. So Al McAdams is going to take the shot. And so we have no stars, no stars, and no stars. So the stars have no stars. So basically only line, line one's really going to score for this team. And a shot is an 11. Goalie knocks it down, makes a pass to the center, and we got a breakaway now for the Hawks. So Esposito makes the save, clears it up, and now let's see what's going to happen on the breakaway. And the breakaway is momentum, right? That gives you a temporary momentum on the breakaway. So we have eight now. So that's going to be two, one, three. So Mulvey to Secord to Dennis Servard, who is very deadly. And with the momentum, so we got one, two, three. So we got a three shooting on two. Dennis Savard, three shooting on two. No. Can't beat it. That one's the killer right there. Stick save by Malosh. And we'll play on. So a Minnesota save on the breakaway try. And that'll kill the play here. So puck goes back to Minnesota. Line two stays out. Line one comes out. Line two. And line three. So we'll see Feimster and Murray. Again, this is loosely based on one of the playoff games that they had.
This is right at the end of Tony Esposito's career. He might have been 39 years old in this game. Possibly. Malosha's getting up there, too. All righty, so uh, Minnesota puck after the save. And we have a nine. We got momentum. Whichever team currently has momentum gains possession of the puck. No change. If no team has momentum, check their hit quality. One, two, three. And absolutely nothing. So whoever has hit quality establishes new momentum. So momentum will go here. And here we go. So we've established momentum. So they will stay with the puck. And we'll continue on here. And um, I don't think there's any line change or anything on that. I think we just kind of play on. Uh, 10 now. We have a turnover. Any defensive player having a square? No. No squares. If no square, no effect roll again. All righty. No line change. All right. So the pass missed, but the North Stars will get it back. Um, we haven't lost momentum yet, right? Okay, uh, we have a nine again, so we got momentum, whichever ha team has it, so we'll keep it here. A nine again, so now, second momentum here, something happens here. Uh, let's see here, do twice in a row, then momentum is a cheap shot, so they delivered a cheap shot, so now they're into submission here. Um... So there's momentum, there's submission. So there's some, so a cheap shot by the North Stars. I'm kind of trying to read this here and keep an eye on oh, my camera's kind of messed up. Sorry about that. It's, been a, it's at a weird angle here today, so I can kind of get this camera to get the um, the pictures a little bit closer. And so we got um prevents a team from gaining momentum and unless they retaliate a fight. All right, so there's been a cheap shot here, so they can't get momentum unless they... Uh, they break it here. Fight a goal or the period ends. All righty. So we're um, we're continuing play here. A long stretch. And now we got a lull. And that will not clear the momentum. But it'll... Uh, one minute to go in the period. So one minute to go in the period. So we got a lull here. So momentum is lost on the lull. Line one and line three will come out to finish the period here. Fast-moving period. A lot of lulls. A lot of lulls. LOLs. All right. So now we got a face-off. A four. High face-off wins. Um, 51-49. All right. So... The puck goes to the North Stars here. Last gasp here in the first period. Last chance saloon, as they say. A five. And we got a penalty event. So let's go to the penalty event and see what's going on on the penalty. All right. So a, an eight. So we're looking at 01. So 01 penalty rating is 0.5 and we're looking at 5 and he's a 1.5 so if I'm not mistaken that's what you do is 1 looks to 5 and 5 will get the penalty so let's roll for the penalty so Greg Fox will go to the box and it's going to be does the player have a fight rating yes he does minor penalty and he looks for a fight otherwise it's a minor roughing here uh, well, we got a couple of guys here with fight ratings, so let's see if anybody wants to fight. Yep, they do. So Gordy Roberts and Greg Fox are going to go at it here, dropping the Dukes, and let's see who's going to get the best of it here. So uh, six, home player lands a punch. Ten, visitor player. So it's even now. So Roberts and Fox duking it out here. A uh, nine, Another one by Roberts. He's winning the fight right now. A seven. Now the referee steps in, and Roberts got the best of that one. So the momentum will go here, but the period ends on that fight right there. <laughs> so we had a fight, and so Fox and Wilson will sit out. So I'll have to keep in mind that they're out. And whoo, that'll end the period. So the score after one. It's absolutely nothing to absolutely nothing. So let me see if I can just change this here. 
And we'll get back to the action here. So we're in the second. North Stars and the Hawks tied at nothing. Not a lot of action. A lot of lulls in that period. But we did have a fight between Roberts and Fox. All right, so let's see who's going to start the period here. Line three is going to come out. And line two on the offense. Line one will start here for the Hawks. And anybody but line one. So I need to kind of keep going here. Line two. So I'm going to make sure the defense ain't out here for a little bit so I can have them in the box. Ty stops by. Just got done playing the first half of Apple football, setting a little bit of the rhythm with it. And he's loving it. Yes, you will love it. Just stick with it. Start off simple. Just roll the dice and look at the charts. Don't worry about anything else. Get the game flowing. You know, learn how to go to the chart, figure out your penalties, your fumbles, your interceptions. And once that becomes second nature, then you can add some stuff to the game. But for the most part, right out of the box, it works fantastic. So I'm glad. I'm really glad that you're enjoying the game. I'm trying to get some of the, the light off the reflection of the cards here. Ron McGrath stops by. Fenner stops by. Played two games at Appa Baseball last night. Had a great time with it. We'll probably get the great teams of the past sets at Appa. That's fantastic. Yeah, Appa's great. If you played one Appa game, you're going to like them all. Appa, I, I, I like them. You know what I mean? And I like other games too, but I do like the Appa, Appa way of doing things. All righty, folks. So we're in the second period now. It is absolutely nothing to absolutely nothing. Not a lot going on. Each team with a save or two maybe. And then we're going to start off here with... Um, Fox and Roberts in the box. So I've got to keep an eye on that if I can, or at least for the next few minutes. So three high face-off wins it. So we have a 50 and a 52. So the puck's going to go over here to the Blackhawks. And a seven is going to be a lull right off the bat. One, two, three. And what we're going to do is we're going to say that they're out of the box just to make things simple here. So no score here in Chicago North Stars and the Blackhawks, about the only thing we've seen is a couple of nice saves by each goalie and a fight. And the fights are kind of fun. I didn't, I didn't, when I first played this game, I didn't like the fights. Now I like the fights. Again, I need to go back to a lot of the games that I didn't like the first time around and give them a second chance. Because now that I'm fully in, you know, I'm, I'm in up to my chest right now on, uh, in the water on cards and dice games. So I need to go back and check that out. All righty, so uh, face-off now is an eight. Home wins the face-off. So Chicago with the puck right now. Three minutes gone by in the period. Now we have an ice blast. So it's a wide-angle view, and we're looking at one. So one's going to be speed. One, two, three. One, two. So in that case there, I believe um, the, the puck changes hands, right? The defender wins his no shot, takes over the puck, change lines, advance the clock. All righty, so we're going to have a turnover here by the Blackhawks, and that's going to send that line off the ice. So Minnesota with the puck. Usually these games have a lot more going on. I just happen to be rolling kind of boring tonight, so don't judge this game on what I'm doing here. This game really is, it can get intense is what I'm trying to say. All righty, so Minnesota with the puck now. Unless I'm playing it completely wrong, because it's been a while since I played, but I, th I think I'm doing it at least somewhat close. All right, we got a penalty event. Let's check the penalty again. And a five is going to be D4. So it's going to be four and two. So a 1.5 and 0.5. So it's going to be a penalty on Barrett. So let's check the penalty, though, right? And an 11 is penalty greater than two? No. Uh, minor penalty. So we got a... um. A penalty on Minnesota. So it's going to be a home power play here. So I need to get to my um, my power play minutes chart. You make me want to get Stone Cold out for his tournament. Yeah, Stone Cold's fun. I need to pull that out again. I really like that, Cards and Dice. And I know the computer game does a good job of keeping stats, but the Cards and Dice is just, that game's amazing with the Cards and Dice. All right, so I put line one out for my first power play. That's my power play line for the first power play for each team. All righty, so who's going to be sitting? Who? So momentum is on the power play, right? Momentum is gained on the power play, Temp temporary momentum. All righty, so that's where we are right now. And in the box, <clears throat> we're going to sit Payne. Payne's going to be the man in the box. He's going to be the man in the box. All righty, so let's go power play time for the Blackhawks. So we've got a face-off here. 
And it's a power play. It's a four. Short-handed team wins the face-off. And if they have two circles, something happens. And they do have two circles. Holy cow here. So hang on a sec. Four. Short-handed team wins the face-off. If they have a circle, uh, two lull minutes and a face-off. So that means they killed off the penalty. Nice. All righty. So we got a face-off here. So... Nice job by the North Stars, and that penalty, whew, that flew by, didn't it? Felt like just a couple of seconds. All right, so momentum is gone. This guy's out of the box, and we have a face-off. So just like that, this game is flying by. It's going to be a record for me. Line three will come out, and line two. And that's where we stand right now. So in the second, still no score. This is one of those games, if you roll a lot of lulls, the, the game goes by like that. All righty, so here we go. Face off. And an 11. Waved off, new face off with new players. Seven. Uh, face off followed by a lull. Holy cow, we're rolling a lot of lulls in this game. So teams are just grinding each other down right now. No score. Line four will come out here. And line one. So they're going with the muckers and the grinders right now. So no momentum, no possession right now. And an eight. Eight is going to be home face-off win. So it's going to go to the third line here. Nice face-off win by Terry Ruskowski. And a nine is momentum. Which team has momentum? No, let's check the hit quality. One, two. Two and two, so it's going to go to the home team. So momentum's going to come over here, and we play on. Five. Another penalty. Boy, we just can't get any, like, odd man rushes or anything or any plays. So we got a penalty check here. Um, so let's see who the penalty's on. Eight. Oh, one. So Al Secord with a four. I think he's going to get the penalty here. Four, um, so one going up against five, and it's a one. So Al Secord is going to get the penalty. Let's see what the penalty is going to be. A six. Penalty of zero? No, it's not penalty of zero. Um, and so just going to be a um, penalty on Secord. So penalty on Chicago. That means momentum's coming over here. Line one will stay out for these guys just because it's a penalty, and it's Minnesota's first penalty, so that's kind of how I roll. And we'll flip this here. I, I love how this, this this chart does everything. You know, the minutes and the normal minutes, It's it's everything's, like, right here. I do like that. All right, so Minnesota on the power play here. Well, if C-chord's in the box, then um, C-chord's in the box, right? Not much you can do about that. All right, so Minnesota North Stars on the power play. Shorthanded team wins the faceoff. So they will get the pucks. Nice win by Savard. A 12. Oh, man, choice offensive player. Launches a shot. Goalie must make a spectacular save. So Savard spins around, cuts through the defense, moves in on Malosh. Oh, he's got a three, though, on spectacular save. That's pretty good. Savad moving in, shorthanded. A four. He scores! Savard will score shorthanded here. And so that's a shorthanded goal for Chicago. And Savard puts it home, and it's one nothing now for the Blackhawks on a shorthanded goal. That was kind of cool, actually. All right, so Chicago puts up one here in the second. On the scoreboard. On the shorthanded goal. Let's see who's going to get the assists on that. So I'll get my assist chart. And it's going to be unassisted. How about that? Dennis Savard, unassisted, and it's one nothing Chicago. But they're still on the penalty. So here's a chance now for um, Minnesota. So we're going to go to second minute. So we're going to go line two here on the second minute. And um, we're going to put uh, Preston, Preston, who needs Preston in the penalty box here. All right, last gasp here on the power play. Last chance saloon for the North Stars. Um, 
So I th they would lose momentum on a goal, but because um because they still have the power play, they'll continue on. Yeah, the the air horn in Chicago Stadium is about to go off, right? And uh, Frank's voting for the North Stars. I'm kind of rooting for the North Stars. Although, how do you root against Tony Esposito? You know, really, is come on. All righty, so uh, a three off the draw. Waved off, new face-off players come in. This could be a break here for the North Stars. And now we get a nine. Man advantage team wins the face-off. If they have two stars, they're going to play. No, they don't. They would have if the line one had it, but they don't. So they'll just get the puck. All right, so the North Stars down by a goal now on the man advantage. And nine, whichever team has the most triangles gets a scoring chance. And the star symbol counts as a triangle for the man advantage team. So we got one triangle, two triangle, three triangles. One, two, three triangles each. Hmm. So if they each have to, I think it goes to the momentum team is what it does. Creating offensive scoring chance. Roll again on the play chart. So I'm going to say because it's three and three, the momentum team gets the chance. All right, so Chicago almost got another shorthanded chance here. But Minnesota will get the, the shot on net. All right, so let's go to my play chart now. And a four. One, three, and four. Except if they have two circles out there, they will kill it. And they do not have two circles. They only have one circle. So one, three, and four. So Palmer sends it over to Broughton, who drops it back to Barrett at the point. So I get two cut in half as one. So I got a one shooting on two. Here we go. And that's going to be a save by Esposito. Kicks it wide. The puck is loose. It goes to 0-1 on a rebound chance. So Palmer picks it up. He's got a one. We add one for the rebound. So it's two. And I think we go on the shot save, right? Okay. Do not use. Rebound shooter shooters. Sh oh, boy. He's got a zero. Tony Esposito is, is, in the, is in the elder stages of life. So I got a two shooting on a zero. And he will get the shot on the net. And eight is a score. Right, because two matches the two, and six is greater than zero. And so Minnesota counters on the power play goal. And Minnesota will tie the game at one-to-one. One. So let me get my uh, chart over here, and we'll see who's going to score that goal right there. So Minnesota comes back. Frank cheers them on, and he leads them to a power play goal here in the second period. So one-to-one. One. Let's check to see who got the... Assists on that one. So on a nine, it's going to be the two highest. So that would be Broughton and McAdam. Yeah, we'll give it to Broughton and McAdam. All righty. So Palmer with the goal from Broughton and McAdam. All righty. For those of you scoring at home. So we're tied at one. And the power plays are up. Everything is up. Momentum will stay here because they scored. Right? So momentum is gained if you score a goal. So they will keep the momentum. So let's see which lines come out here now. I think I'm going to shuffle these up a little bit. All right. Kind of do a little blind shuffle here. All right. So line three will come out on that. A little blind shuffle here. And line one will come out for the stars on the offense. Line four is coming out. They're not messing around. They're putting out the uh, the cavalry here, the big guns here to counter. They're not going to put up with any of that. So they're sending out the rough stuff. Incidentally, um, one of the Carlson brothers is on this team. I didn't play him, though, because he didn't play in the game. But um, if I come over here to my, my North Stars cards here, you'll see that um, Jack Carlson does indeed have a card. On the North Stars. Interesting, huh? I bet you didn't know that. All right, so we're tied at 1-1 one to one now in the second period. We got about, about seven minutes to play here in the second period. Game's moving along pretty good. And we have an eight, and home wins the faceoff. So Blackhawks get it. Ruskowski with another faceoff win and a three. 
is going to be a play. Team of the most triangles gets a scoring chance. All righty. If no triangles, then a lull occurs. So we got no triangles. We got one, two, three, four, five triangles to two. So it's going to be a scoring chance over here for the, the North Stars. All righty. So let's see what they can do here with the top line out against the, the line over here. Another four, a one, three, and a four. Holy cow, I've been rolling defensive shots all day. So we have a one, two, three, and zero. So I got a three shooting on two. Brad Maxwell from the point shoots this one, and he will score, right? A three equals the three, and the six beats a two, and Brad Maxwell scores, and all of a sudden now, it's two to one Minnesota. So let's go to uh, Maxwell on the goal from Payne and Smith. And just like that, the North Stars have taken the lead two one. So Frank coming in it really has made the difference here as he started cheering for the North Stars. No one cheering for my Tony Esposito, which is too bad. <laughs> oh. Uh, did Minnesota get another team after they left for Dallas? Yeah, eventually they get the Minnesota Wild. They're okay. You know, I still, the North Stars are still the team for me, you know, for Minnesota. So Brad Maxwell, the third-line defenseman, cranks it home. And the Stars now lead this one 2-1. Two, to one. two quick goals by the North Stars here in the second period has opened things up. So we get lines three against line four. This could mean some rough stuff here. And here we go. All righty. So let's continue on in the second period. A 10. High faceoff wins it. So we have absolutely nothing. So it's going to be one over here by this guy here. So Bill Gardner. All right. So Bill Gardner gets it. And then the momentum is still here because of the goal. All right. So... A nine, momentum check. Whoever has momentum gains possession of the puck, they will get possession of the puck. And an 11, who has, if defense has two squares, they have no squares. Otherwise, let's say if defense has two squares, they create a turnover. Um, and otherwise, it's a play for the offense. Oh, so it was another chance here. Another chance. So we have a nine, four, two, and choice. So it's going to be Roberts to Cicerelli to Bobby Smith. That's what we're going to do. So we have one, two, three, four. Oh, boy. It's a five shooting on two. Bobby Smith scores. Bobby Smith, right? Because we got the five shooting on two. And Bobby Smith scores. And it's another Minnesota goal. And, boy, now we got to change our spreadsheet again. Our scoring statistician person is getting quite busy over here. Oh, he left me. He was sitting right here. Now he left me. <laughs> and it's 3-1. to one. So Minnesota turning it on here. Boy, after a dog of a first period, we've had something else here. So Smith, Cicerelli, and Roberts. Smith, Cicerelli, and Roberts. And with uh, five minutes to go here in the second period, Minnesota's got three goals in a row. They will maintain the momentum. They will maintain everything. And they are the champions of today, if this keeps up. All right, so we go off the face-off now. And a four is high face-off win. So we have a 50 and a 51. So Chicago will get the puck. A five is another penalty. Let's check the penalties. Three. D2. So it's going to be uh, McAdam, a five, and a 3.5. So Hutchinson's going to get the penalty. And a nine is... So they have a fight rating? Oh, he's got a fight rating of six. Yes, he does. Um, he, He's looking for a fight. Looking for a fight. No, not going to get it. So it's going to just be a minor penalty. So penalty Chicago, and they'll be shorthanded again. 
So line two will come out here. We'll start line two, then go to line one. So Hutchinson's got to be out, right? So um, we're going to send in... Um, no, we're going to send in Murray on the penalty kill, just because that'll make it fair. So we're going to have uh, Preston. Preston, who needs Preston sitting out here in the first minute of the power play? So let's go to our power play chart. This would be a good road, good road run. This is kind of a, a replay of one of the playoff games, actually, from 81-82, if you will. All right, so let's go to the power play now. So it's going to be power play Minnesota, and we have a 7. Face-off won by high player. And so it's going to be a 52 and a 50. So, yeah, the puck's going to go to Chicago here. So short-handed, they have the puck, a 6, a zoom. Let's uh, zoom in on one player here. So, so the zoom is a three. So we're looking for power. All righty. So, so we're looking for three and three. I believe it is. I think we should keep that up. So we're looking for the power rating, and nobody has the power rating. Right. Okay. All right, if neither team has it, the defense wins. So it's going to come over here. So it's going to have a turnover because nobody has the power rating that I can see. No, no, wait a sec. Hutchison does. Hey, hang on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hutchison has the power rating. Oh, wait a sec. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, they don't. It's a zoom. It's a zoom. So it's three and three. And nobody has the power rating. All right, I have to back that up there. All right, so we're going to go to line one now for each team. And Mulvey's going to sit here. So that's a turnover. And we'll continue on with the power play here for the North Stars. And an eight is an ice blast. Wide camera view of two, which is skill. One, two, three, four, five. Well, they can't beat it with four skaters. So it's going to be a... Um, a chance now. It's going to be a scoring chance. And it's a 5. 3 1 in choice. All righty. So Smith to Payne. Well, we're going to go to Cicerelli. And that's that's going to be 6. All right. We have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, oh boy. It's a 6 shooting on 2. 6 shooting on 2. And no, Esposito will make the save. And the goalie stacks the pads, but it bounces to 0 2 for a rebound shot. So Cicerelli has got a 4, 4 on 0, and he will score. So Cicerelli scores on the rebound, and that's another power play goal for Minnesota. Cicerelli putting this one home, and this one is getting out of hand. The North Stars are really taking it to the Blackhawks now. It's 4-1, to one, so four goals here in the second period. And this thing is turning into a laugher. Chicago got a shorthanded goal from Savard to go up one to nothing, but since then it's been four out of the last five minutes we've had goals by the North Star. So after that first period, which was really, really bad, by the way, we're going to get some goals here. And we'll check the assists real quick. A 10 is going to be the two highest assist rating people here. So we'll go um, Payne and Smith. So Cicerelli from Payne and Smith on the power play. And that's where we stand. It is four to one. So we're back to normal minutes now. Let's see who's going to come out. So line one will stay out. Line one will stay out. Line one will stay out. And line one will stay out. So line one stays out, I guess. Here we go. Two minutes to go in the period. And a seven, and that'll be a lull, and that'll end the period. So, so the score at the end of two here in Chicago, it's four to one North Stars, if you can believe it. All right, so now we go to the third. And I'm going to hurry up here to get this game done so I can get ready for digital to dice. Chuck and I are supposed to record right after dinner. And so let's see who's going to come out here. So line two's coming out here. Line three. Lines two. And line two. All right, here we go. So momentum's done because it's the end of the period. Face off at center. 
Everything's kind of neutral right now. And let's get on with the third period here in Chicago. And eight is going to be home wins the faceoff. So Chicago with the puck down by three. Can they get a scoring chance here or not? So we have a five. And a five is another penalty. Boy, we've had a lot of penalties in this game. Oh, it's a 12. So 05 against 01. So it's a point five. To point five, so Crossman will get the penalty. Let's double check what's going on here. A seven uh, minor penalty on Crossman. Oh boy! So it's another Chicago penalty, and Minnesota goes back on the power play. So line one will come out this time, and Mulvey will sit again. So let's go to my power play chart. And, uh, yeah, Sports Time Machine, you might be getting a team out there in, in Utah, right? In Utah. That's what the, I don't know what the team's going to be called, but, yeah, get them out of the desert. I'm sorry. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work, you know. All righty. So, face-off, Minnesota power play. So, they'll have temporary momentum. And a 10. Man advantage team wins the face-off. That's going to be simple enough. Minnesota with a puck. A 9. Whichever team has the most triangles. We have... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's even. Team with momentum gets it as far as I'm concerned. So Minnesota with a chance. Six, three, two, and one. Smith, Cicerelli to Payne. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we got a six shooting on two. Oh, boy, Payne. No, Esposito will make the save. And he freezes the puck. So it's going to be a... Chicago save as Esposito robs Payne here on the man advantage. So let's go to our next one, and Preston will sit. So line two comes out for each team. And this is the final minute of the power play. So nice save by Esposito on that one. We have a nine. Man advantage team wins the faceoff. And if they had the two circles, if they had won the faceoff, they would have got a chance, but they'll just get the puck. So Minnesota with the puck now. An eight. Ice blast. Wide angle shot. For power, one, two, three, to one. They will get a shot on goal. Chance to make it five to one. Three is four, two, and three. So four, two, and three. So Neil Broughton's going to get it. So we have one, two, three. So we have a three shooting on two. Three shooting on two. And no, that was a seven. No, Esposito will make the save as the four uh, kicks them out, and they'll stack the pads. And so Tony Esposito doing what he can to keep his team in the game because they can't score a goal right now. So momentum is lost. we got a face-off. We go back to our normal minutes, and let's see who's coming out here. So three minutes gone by in the third period, still 4-1. to one. Line two will stay out. Line three comes out for the Hawks. And line one defense for the Hawks. All right, now we got a face-off. An eight. Home wins the face-off. So it goes to the Blackhawks. A four is going to be an odd man rush. Isolate skater with the dice roll. So we got one. Let's see here. How do we do this one here? Is it? All right, so I think i got to roll the dice here to isolate the, the player. All righty. A five. So we're gonna, it's D5. So D5 is Giles. All righty. Odd man rush. Um, if he, he will make the play, change of possession, advance time. All right, so Giles is going to poke check the puck away, and they will take the puck, and it's going to be a turnover, and we will continue on here in the third period. So it was an odd man rush, but a nice play by Kurt Giles. We'll take that puck away with the square. All right, so line two comes out here. One. And one. And three. All righty, so Minnesota with a puck. A six is a zoom. Five. So we got a smart quality here. Um, one-on-one -on -one matchup. And I think it's one in five, right? So it's going to be 
The black die is one. I think that's it. Close-up camera, a one-on-one -on -one matchup here. So I think it's going to be one in five. I think that's how it goes. And I'm looking for a five, which is smart. He has it, and he doesn't. So in this case, the offensive player wins the matchup, takes the puck, new possession, change line. So basically a turnover. I think that how, that's how it goes there. All righty, so it's, it's going to be a turnover here as Savard had the quality, right? And I think that's what we do is we keep the dice on the table here. Black is home, white is away. So line three will come out. Line two. Line two. And back to one. All right, so Chicago with the puck here after the turnover. Five minutes gone by as Demi stops by. A five And another penalty check here. Seven. And we roll again, I think. I think on the seven here. Yeah, we're going to have we're gonna have some, some bonus stuff going on here. Multiple penalties happening. Um, minor on the highest visitor. And minor on the two highest. So we got some penalties going on here. So it's going to be a double minor on Chicago. And I'm not really going to point out the players at this point. So we're just going to go line two here. So it's going to be um, uh, penalty on... We're just going to call it penalty Chicago, right? Because it's a double minor versus a single minor. And there we go. So Minnesota back on the power play. They got momentum, and let's continue on. So very undisciplined game here by the Blackhawks. Picking up their second penalty of the period, putting the North Stars back on the man advantage. And we have 11 here. And 11 is man advantage. Team wins the faceoff. North Stars with the puck. A 9. Whichever team has the most triangles creates a play. 1, 2, 3. Um... One, two, three. So it's even team with momentum gets the play. Eleven. One, three, five. However, if there's a circle, we kill the penalty. And Hutchinson has the circle. You know, if the short end team has, has a kill, so they will kill it. So they will squash this. So we get a lull and a lull, and that kills the penalty. So good job there by... Hutchinson standing up and taking away that power play from the North Stars. All right, so now we have uh, about 12 minutes to play. Let's see who's coming out. So line two will stay out. Line one, two will stay out, and two will stay out. Here we go. All right, so no momentum. Face off, a 12. High face off wins it, and we got an unusual result. So we have um, 52. And 54. So let's check the unusual result, shall we? Um, it's an 8. So it's going to be an unusual penalty. Lovely. Let's go to our unusual penalty chart. All right. Let's see what we're going to have here. A 7. Let's see. It's a 52. Penalty on, on high, penalty on defense, double minor high sticking. So it looks like it's going to be a... a Double minor over here on the North Stars. Hmm. All righty. So it's going to be a four-minute penalty now. So minor for Minnesota. And so um, we got a four-minute power play here for the Blackhawks. So we'll put out line one. And who's going to sit here? I think Payne's going to sit. So it's a four-minute power play for Chicago. A great chance for them to get back in this game, trailing 4-1. to one. All righty, on the power play, a seven. Face-off one by high face-off. And so the puck's going to go over here. So the momentum's over here. So Minnesota has the puck shorthanded. A uh, seven. Um, man advantage team gets a scoring chance no matter what. All right, so they're going to take the puck away. And they will get the scoring chance now. And it's a 10. So it's going to be 4, 1, and 2. So 4, 1, and 2. So we have 2, 3, 4, 5. That's pretty good. 
Five shooting on two. Can Malosh make the save? Five shooting on two. He will make the save. Uh, the clearing attempt is kept in. New power minutes roll. Same line. No time advance. All right, so it's kept in at the point. So a nice save by Malosh. But Chicago retains possession. A six. We got a zoom. And a six on the zoom is star. So I think we're looking on two and four, right? No star. No star. So the defender wins if neither has the, the star quality. All right, so it's going to be a turnover here. So the first minute of the power play is gone. And we're going to get on the line two right now. And he'll be in the box. So we have a 10 turnover. Offensive team man advantage or short, see, offensive team man or shorthanded lost possession of the puck. No line change, no time advance. When double fives, the defense gets a breakaway play. So it's going to be a breakaway here. So Chicago shorthanded steals the puck. Uh, three. It's going to be four, two, three. So we got four, two, and three. So Lysiak's going to get the chance. One, two, three. Three shooting on two. And he needs to make a spectacular save. Right? He needs to make a spectacular save. Lysiak going to the backhander on Malosh. A four. He scores. So Lysiak will score. And that's Chicago power play goal. And they've cut the lead now to four to two, and they still have two minutes to go on the power play, if you can believe it. I bet you can. All righty, so we're back now to the power play. So line one to come back out. Good looking power play there, and so Payne will be sitting out again. Still some momentum over here, four to two. And so this is the second part of that double minor. A five. Short-handed team wins the faceoff. All righty. So Minnesota with it now. An eight ice blast. So it's a wide-angle view of three. And that's going to be power. One, two. One, two, three. So they will take control of the puck, right? Yep. So they will get the puck there. And let me see. Defense takes over with new possession, change lines, advance clock. So Minnesota turns the puck over, which is not a bad thing because now we get the second minute of that penalty. All right, so last gasp here, last chance saloon on the power play, a seven. Man advantage team gets a scoring chance. All right, so an eight is going to be two, one, three. So two, one, three. So Preston to Sutter to Lysiak. So we have one. Two, three. We have three shooting on two. And no, that'll be a save by Malosh. And he kicks it wide to D4, who clears the puck away. And we change lines, and that is that. So that's going to end the power play. So save. Chicago gets it back. They lose the momentum. Man's out of the box. Scoring chances up. And now we have... About seven minutes to play, and now we flip our line cards here to see who comes out. Well, Chicago almost made it a game. If they could have got another power play goal, we would have had a one-goal game. All right, Chicago with the puck now. Let's go back to my normal chart. And I got a five. And another penalty. Holy cow, there's been some penalties in this game, right? And another seven. It's going to be another crazy event here. Here we go. Here we go. An 11. Double minor for Minnesota. Eight. And a minor over here. So Minnesota goes back on the penalty. Kill. Minnesota penalty. So Chicago back on the man advantage. So we're going to start with line two this time. Palmer will out again. So Chicago right back on the power play as the the black and blue division starts roughing it up here. 
a six. Shorthanded team wins the faceoff. Minnesota with a puck. Momentum's over here. Big kill coming up for the North Stars. Turns. He battle for possession. Team with the most stars in circles or penalty kill gains possession of the puck. No line change, no change. No players on the ice. And read 10 as a turnover. I was going to read as a 10 turnover. All right, so let's see if we have stars and circles. One, two. And nothing over here. Yeah, so um, they, re they retain the puck. No line change, no time advance. All right, so nice play by the North Stars to hang on to the puck here. Seven. Uh-oh, power play team's going to get a chance. And let's see what's going on now. A nine. Four, two, and choice. So Hutchinson to Preston to Sutter. And we have one, two, three, four. So we have four shooting on two. And he's got to make another spectacular save. Yep, so Malosh needs to make a spectacular save. A six, three or better. And he makes the save. Malosh with a ridiculous save on Sutter to keep this game four to two. And now we got a whistle. So Gilles Malosh with a big save. And we got one minute to go on the power play. Five minutes to go in the game, four to two Minnesota. We have a seven. Face off one by high player. And so Minnesota's gonna win the puck again. They've done a good job winning face offs today. A nine. Whichever team has the most triangles. They have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like lost count. So team of the most power plays. Um I mean the most things is gonna get a chance here. And oh these count as um triangles for the man advantage. Yeah, so Chicago's gonna get the get the chance. On the power play again, a ten, four one and two. Wilson to Secord drops it back from Mulvey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got a six shooting on two. And an Malosh has to make another ridiculous save. Can Malosh make another save? Eight. And he makes the save. Malosh with another fantastic save. That'll kill the penalty. And so two saves in a row by Malosh has kept Minnesota in the lead. So Chicago with some good crispy duck on those power plays. But they can't come through. So we have four minutes to play here in the third period. And it's kind of weird that the Hockey Blast takes me an hour to play. Usually I, I thought it would play that a little bit better. Um, we're going to go to line three. Line four is not coming out down by um, by two goals here. All right, so let me get my, my regular chart here. And again, I could be playing this very, very wrong, but it's been very, very fun, and that's all that matters. So we have an eight. Home wins the faceoff. All right, so their momentum is gone because the penalty's over. All right, and so we're going to get a uh, a five here. Another penalty. Another penalty. Nine, oh, two, one, and two. So it's going to be on the North Stars. And a nine. Does he have a fight rating? Yeah, he does. Um, Anybody else have a fight rating? Yeah. Well, him and Bully are going to go at it. So we're going to have a fight. So let's just kind of scrub that off here. So we're just going to have another fight in this game. Oh, I need to establish momentum, don't I? So Bully and Maxwell going at it. Um, it's going to be home player lands a punch. And the visitor, oh, he gets injured. He's knocked down. We're not going to play the injury. So momentum will go here to Chicago after the fight. So we have three minutes to play. Faceoff goes to center. Um... We're going to put line two out for everybody here because we're getting late in the game. So I'm going to put these away for now because I know who's going to be out there to end the game. So I don't need to kind of rotate these at all anymore. We're going to be just going lines one and line two. All right, here we go. We have three minutes to play. And a high face off with an unusual result. Oh, boy. Uh, so the puck's going to go here. Let's check the unusual result of five. Um, we have an injury. I'm not going to play injuries, so let's just play on. So Minnesota has the puck. And another 
penalty. Boy, this has just been a penalty-filled game. 8 is 0-1 against 0-5. They're even, so penalty on Minnesota. All righty, so penalty on Minnesota. So we got two minutes to play, and I need to check this right now. So I got, um, so it's going to be, um, so we're going to take the goalie out, actually, right? So what do we do if we have the goalie out and a power play? I forget if there's anything special on that or not. Um, I think we just go off the power play chart, I believe. What do we go empty net chart? I'm not sure here. So it's a two man advantage here. I don't remember what we do here. If we take the goalie out. Oh, no, Justin, no one's cooled on Stone Cold. It's just there's so many games to play, you know. I'm trying to think. Do we, if we pull the goalie with the power play, I think, um, I'm not sure what we do here. Um, well, let's just play the power play for right now because I'm not sure really what to do. On that, so Chicago power play. Pain back in the box, and here we go. I don't know how that would work with the, the two man advantage. I'm just gonna call it a two man advantage. Um, so they're gonna win the face off because th that I do know because they've got two man advantage here. Twelve spectacular save. So um, the puck's gonna go. We're gonna give it to Grant Mulvey, and Malosh has to make a spectacular save in a three. No, he will score. Mulvey will score. It's a power play goal. And Grant Mulvey, oh boy, now we can pull the goalie, right? With a minute to play, Mulvey has scored to make it 4-3. to three. So hold the phone. We're not done yet, folks. A power play goal by Mulvey. I'm not going to worry about my assist right now. And it's 4-3. to three. So Chicago has come back. And here we go. All right, the goalie is out. So we're going to put out Daryl Sutter. No, we're going to put out Lysiak. Lysiak's coming out here. He's going to be my extra man. So Esposito's on the bench. Lysiak's out. And here we go. Last minute of the game, 4-3 to three Minnesota. Can they blow a 4-1 to one lead? A 10. Man advantage team. Gets it. So the puck goes here. They have the momentum because they just scored. Everything going in Chicago's favor right now. Oh, a two. Oh, he has to make a spectacular save. All righty. So um, we're going to give it to. We're going to give it to Lysiak, the extra man. All right. Lysiak, the extra man, fires this on Maloch. This is the game. If he scores, we go to overtime. If Malosh makes a save, that's it. A 12. And he makes the save. Malosh makes the save and hangs on, and that will do it. And the final score here in Chicago on Malosh being the number one star, and it's going to be 4-3. to three. Well, that was pretty fun. I do got to brush up on some of the rules, especially the pulling the goalie with the extra man. I'm not exactly sure which chart to look on, but that was pretty cool. That was pretty fun. Haven't played Hockey Blast in quite some time, and that was a good time. So let me go back to Studio B here. Again, we wrap things up, 4-3 to three Chicago. And, um, yeah, enjoyed that very much. You know, it's always fun to, to mix things up, you know. So anyway, and Charles says he's playing Stone Cold Hockey 22-23 replay. And, um, yeah, so that's that. All right, so I'm going to jump out here. i got to get my recording gear going. Jucket and I are supposed to record a new digital to dice tonight, and so I'll be looking for that later on today. Um, at some point this weekend, I know it's going to be tomorrow or Sunday, um, i got to find a time slot here that's going to work. I'm going to play, you know, I'm not going to dig it out, but over here, I'm going to play Super Bowl three in its entirety. So I'm either going to do it Saturday morning or Sunday morning, but I'm going to try to do 
Super Bowl three in its entirety. I'll try to get the game to move along at a good clip, so I'm not here all day. Uh, but we're going to do that. It's going to be Jets and Colts. Namath against uh, Unitas. Who was the other guy, Morrow? I have to, I have to double check. I got to see who started the game. One guy started the game, and then someone else came into the game. So I need to to see how that goes. But it could be kind of fun playing some '60s football because I I don't know much about it. So I'm going to be learning learning as I go, so to speak. So anyway, so uh, thanks for tuning in as we played some hockey this afternoon, and we'll be back to some football tomorrow, most likely with some uh, some championship action here between the AFL and the NFL. You know, could be kind of fun.